Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Build Study. I am here with the great Jermsey boy. Hello. And we are back again on the Articraft server. Guys, there's so much to show you. I can't even express how many episodes we could potentially do here. But uh, we just logged on. We were talking, hey, let's do one of these together. And we found this thing that they have. It's it's a It looks to scale or at least close to scale map like plot. And all the signs where you can warp to places. And we found this one and thought, let's just go here. Because look at what is here. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Amazing. It, like we've not even looked we we just logged on like like less than a minute ago and just looking at just this that it's i there's no words and this is not even checking the in-depth sort of style that i like to do in these but wow wow oh wow i didn't even have my render distance all the way up i wonder oh what, my gosh yeah right i don't even know what mine's at actually mine's at 16 where are you at uh i was at eight that was default i'm at 13 now all right. I, I think I can. Yeah, I'm getting enough frames at 16. I can hang there. Um, so uh, so I, I should say before we go any further, right in the front of this video, this is the Articraft server, which um, if you want to find out their information, go to Articraft.me. I'll link it in the description. Jeremy Boy has a YouTube channel, which he's a, a master builder. Just in case you're only oh. online, you don't know his. Go check out his channel. It'll also be linked. So, yeah, same for fix. Except for the master builder part. You can just link link my low channel. Oh, you're great. <laughs> so, okay. So, so, uh, do you remember where we are? Uh, we're at Mythwand. Uh, yes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm embarrassed to admit. I don't know where that is in the world. It's been a few decades since I've read these books. I need to admit something. I've only ever seen The Hobbit. You didn't even see the Lord of the Rings movies? I didn't. Oh, I can't punch you. I tried to punch you. I can't punch you. I tried. Guys, on the Articraft server, if you're watching, I tried to punch him. All right. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I read the books. I mean, seriously, I was probably a teenager, which at this point has been <laughs> a while. Um, so it's been a while since I read the book. I did see the movies. And now this server um, is not based on the movies, although I do believe from what I've seen from Duke on Red's videos, they do take some inspiration. But may it's really about the books. So... Um, some stuff will probably look quite different than the movies. Some might be inspired by the movies, all that kind of stuff. But this is amazing. Yeah, this is insane. I, you know, I, I was just talking to uh, Pride Ceratops on the last one I did these, and we went to Bree. And th the way, you know, entering a town is so important, or town or city or whatever, you know. And the way that this enters, this is, I, I'm going to talk about this. For, going down a step doesn't seem like a big deal, but that's a huge deal. Yeah. It's just one block, but man, it makes this whole area just look like its own thing. I would not, as a builder, I would not probably not have done that, but I would now, because that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've really, I've really started doing a lot more stuff like that, just adding ups and downs, even if it's not really for a reason. Mm -hmm. It just adds uh, depth. You know, that we talk about all the time as builders. We talk about... Um, as in Minecraft, I, I wish I, I wish I, I could place a block. Actually, I don't because I would blo I'd screw it all up. But it, it, we talk about depth being front to back mostly, right? I mean, we bring uh -huh. like an oak log out here and then the cobblestone layer back there, that kind of building. Then there's then there's like vertical depth, right? Like you want to have like here, if you can see, there's like a house here and then there's another like dome up there and then there's a tower up there. That's that's like vertical depth, right? Because there's something yeah. that keeps going. But then there's the other layer of depth, which is like under your feet depth. I don't know what you'd call that, but... Man, that's 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 a whole side that's super important, and I've noticed in Bree especially too, because when you walk in, you start going up a hill, which mm -hmm. is awesome. It it it, add, it just takes it makes you want to walk up the hill, and I hate walking yeah. up hills. <laughs> <laughs> but um, notifications are popping up. I should also say before we go any further, the the, the guys I've been talking to Fordman, who um, runs the server, helps run the server, and everyone I've talked to in the server has been unbelievably cool and gracious and taken time like when i log on people are like hey man you want to check something out Let, let's talk about how we build let's talk about how we plan out it's it's amazingly cool yeah the people on here are awesome um so anyway so i i don't know where to go should we just go this way and just walk around uh yeah oh, dude this path i mean this wall i mean wow i don't know it's so simple yeah but i love it yeah yeah, you're really right. Man, you're really right. Like, that is such a simple wall, but just like the amount that the textures work so well together. And that's one of the nice things about Conquest Texture Pack is so many textures work perfectly together. 
Uh -huh. um, but wow, yeah, that's that's really cool. And there's no reason why we couldn't do something very similar to this in vanilla. You know what I mean? I mean, it wouldn't look the same exactly, but it's possible. Yeah, I mean, just swap this out with uh, cobble walls. Yeah, exactly. I mean, most of it is stone brick and just stone. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's a really nice wall. I really like it. Yeah. And man, even even this like like the layout of this town is it takes such forethought to lay something like this out, you know, um, to take forethought of like you start up here and then you're going to go down this little like s like gradual slope. Mm -hmm. That's super nice, man. That's just super nice. I think a big part when doing builds like this is laying out the terrain first mm -hmm. and then uh, the walls around it and then the roads, I guess. I don't know. I'm not positive, but no, that, that, that makes total sense. And that's something, you know, again, always thinking of the vanilla world and, um, you know, you have your own vanilla world. We're going to be doing Bastion together in season two and all that kind of stuff. I, I think that maybe going forward, we should start thinking about doing some landscaping before starting a, a town, which is not something I've done before in the vanilla vein, but I think we could, it'd just be a lot of work, but we could. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is really cool. Like a, a, yeah. This is another. I mean, it's super simple, but yeah, it's really nice looking. Yeah, like that is, it's just, I, I never would have thought to do like, do the, like the little like figure eight or six or whatever figure to get up the <laughs> stairs. That's so cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just to get up this layer with a big rocky, uh, you know, cliff face there. And man. I wonder how much of this, this is why someday on some of these, hey, Ford Man's there. What's up, Ford Man? Okay. Um, uh, I'd like to do one of these with some of them at some point, you know, and where I can just be like, dude, why did you think of this? Like, is this in the <laughs> book or, how, you know, how, like, how yeah. do you take, you just look at like a, a side of a, a hill or something and you're like, yeah, let's just do a staircase up there. How do you see that? You know, that's, that's so artistic. Yeah. I mean, I think in most cases, most people would just do like a staircase wrapping up the side of a mountain or something yep, like that. Exactly. Certainly, I would have. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry, I don't. I keep getting in the way of this bird. <laughs> this really good <cool laughs> bird just down. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, so you know, I wonder how much of this, how like I wonder how much if any of this is described in the books. I know that from my memory from a while ago. I know Tolkien could go really pretty crazy about describing things in detail. So I wonder how much of this is described. Like like whatever this big giant is, this described? Like maybe who knows? You know, I, uh -huh. they they know. I we you and me don't know. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. You know what else? I'm always go ahead. Uh, I'm always blown away at like the scale. Mm -hmm. that servers like this build on this server westeros craft right just insane yeah it's really like, i i don't even understand how you can think something like this up well that's the thing and you know what else too is is uh, something that pride mentioned last episode is like leaving spaces empty is uh -huh. you know purposefully empty is is really is really good if you're good at it you know like this doesn't feel empty it just feels like the way it should be yeah Definitely. Yeah. Like, I probably would do something to clutter this up. Like, I'd put a statue or something here because that's just my, you know, the my way of building. But I, this is better. This is better than that because it's just you walk in and it feels grand. Yeah. I wouldn't. Honestly, I would probably do the same thing. Put a statue or a fountain or something in the middle. Mm -hmm. But, it's, but not, yeah, it's not needed, you know. In fact, I think yeah. that would. I actually think seeing this, I think that that would reduce this. You know what I mean? That would make this not oh, yeah, as definitely. effective. Yeah. This is very it would make it feel like a smaller space. Mm -hmm. I wish we could do that. Wouldn't that be nice if we could hang hang torches up there, like somehow? Yeah, that would be awesome. Wow, man! Actually, we almost could. What would you use? Like a barrier block or something? Um. Oh, well, lanterns. Well, would, it, huh? Yeah, and then maybe like an iron, iron. What are they called? I, like iron fence. Iron bar. Iron bar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would be cool. That's this is that's a very cool uh, entry thing. Also, mm -hmm. you know, playing in the survival realm, it's nice to have things lit up so you're not con continuously blown up. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, I gotta, I got just gotta get a bird's eye view of this. This is uh, unfreaking believable. This is unbelievable, man. I, how do it you? It is. How do you? 
how do you come up with this? You know, like, how do you, how do you see this? I, I don't, I guess you just start with the build, you know, I, guess, I mean, you start with the plan, certainly, but I guess you start laying blocks, you know, you just start putting blocks down and. Yeah. And just go. I think, uh, <clears throat> if they do it the same way Westeros Craft does it, uh, and other Conquest builders, they, uh, make the shape in, like, wool. Mm hmm And then they go in and add all the details and the, the bright blocks and the colors and all that stuff. You know, what's amazing is about a world like this, it's like there's a lot of empty space, but at the same point, none of it feels empty. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Like there's, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Like, like there's like these little gardens and stuff. That's just empty space, but it's, it's done so well that it feels like every block is exactly, I mean, certainly every block's been placed. Every block is exactly where it's meant to be. And that's, that's an awesome thing. Yeah. Yeah. This just feels natural. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is tremendous. Those those roofs up there are so so nice. And you know, uh, another thing, there's a lot of full blocks on those roofs, which is something that we could do. You know, that's something that we could take. I can't mm -hmm. zoom for some reason. Maybe my hotkey's messed up. I guess I, I could, did see a conflict with the zoom. I could just fly over here. I guess I could just do that. Yeah, like <laughs> these are these are the vertical slabs. So you know, it wouldn't doing a roof like this wouldn't look exactly like this. But I think it'd be close enough that we could do this. But that's a that's a cool roof design. Yeah, this is really nice. Man, I, there's so many levels. This is the most, uh, uh, what should I say, vertical map maybe I've ever seen, or vertical city. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just go up and down and up and down and up and down. This is awesome. Like, building in, like, an Extreme Hills or a Savannah M sort of situation. Like, if you had the foresight, I'm in, I'm in water, you could do something like that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, dude, this just goes down. Oh, this is so this is amazing. Wow. You know what? I think my phone's ringing. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll pause. Well, I'm not cutting that out. Germ's phone went off during a recording. <laughs> it's staying in. <laughs> yeah, we can keep going. All right. So uh, uh, what do you think these are? Churches? I guess maybe holy places of some sort. Uh, that's what it looks like. You know, it's interesting. Uh, this one's wide open. There's no doors. Uh-huh. wonder what... Yeah, I like that. Never. I never would have built that wide open. Never. Yeah, me neither. But, man, it feels awesome. It doesn't feel like a gazebo or anything. You know, it feels like a it feels like a church just with... I guess if the if you're in a really nice, arid sort of place, then you don't need walls, I guess, all the place. Mm-hmm. I spent some time down in Brazil many years ago, and there's a lot of uh, places like that where, like, like a storefront that's open 24 hours, it's just open. Like, it's just oh. always open. There's no way to close it, you know? So, yeah, that's that's really cool. Oh, I'm getting some chunk errors here that I can't fix. Oh, really? Oh, I, I, I don't have any. It's oh, weird. Dude, are these all diagonal boats? Oh, man. Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this port. This is amazing. <laughs> This like look it, you know, I I kind of wish in a way that I had um, I had like a world download, and I, I know it doesn't I know you can't do it because of conquest reforge and all the extra blocks, but I would love to see this just to help because I know the vanilla textures so well. It, it'd uh -huh. be nice if if there was some way that I could see this, and I know I understand it wouldn't work. See this in vanilla though, <laughs> just to help grasp what's going on because it, there's so much stuff. It's it's hard to see almost, you know, and that's not yeah. a negative. It's just, there's so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would be really interested in seeing at least something like this in vanilla. Mm -hmm. It just helped to understand it more. I mean, obviously it's not meant to be vanilla and it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look right, but it would help for us who have more experience playing vanilla to understand what is going on. You know, uh -huh. well, do you also see that? See how many of these houses are not like rectangle? Or square or anything? Yeah. That's fascinating. There's, I mean, almost every single one right here is a different shape. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all. That's something I've just recently started really trying to learn, is trying to learn how to build, uh, I don't know, not, not like organically shaped houses, but just not rectangles, you know? And... Mm-hmm. Uh, not you know to build a little either either on the diagonal or a, or some sort of a, a you know a diagonal I guess like a 
even if not every other block it's you know uh, yeah that's it's very difficult to learn to do that too it would help if we had more blocks <laughs> like they have here yeah, but, but still that's the the shape of it would translate in any way and that's that's super nice uh-huh I, I just love I love like all these like little towers and and things like like there's like towers that don't I don't know what they're for. They don't seem to have really a reason. It's just a tower that looks freaking great. Like maybe it's just an entryway to the church, ornamental or whatever. But like, look at that tower. I, I don't, I don't know why it's there, but it's awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. Boy, there's a lot to see here, man. We could spend a lot of time here. Oh, this is a lighthouse. Oh yeah. That's really cool. Oh, it disappeared for me. Oh. I might have to relog in a minute. All right, let's pause here and relog. All right, we're back. Um, yeah, you know, this lighthouse is cool. And one of the things that makes it so cool is how it's connected in. Like, it's not just a freestanding structure. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that. That's really cool. Again, just great artistic eye and creative foresight mm -hmm. to build this, I guess. Hmm. That's interesting. We could do something like that in, like, Port Bray or... or uh, Maybe the, the pirate area. The, how cool would this sort of... I mean, we'd have to change the blocks kind of, but how cool would this be for like a pirate sort of cove, you know? Like, I mean... Yeah, this would be really cool. Yeah. I cool. mean, change the palette a little bit and stuff like that so it's not looking quite so... I don't know. Would you say that Elven? Is this maybe Elven? Kind of seems like it. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is Elven. So, I mean, change some of the ideas. And look at the, uh, look at the ship in the dry dock. That's... Sometimes it's funny. Oh, Yeah. And there's like a, like a gate that looks like it's a workable, closable gate, you know, to uh -huh. keep the water out. That's super, super good. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, this is really nice. I love that kind of thing where it looks like there's life. Uh -huh. um, you know, it's like this isn't done. I, I think that kind of stuff is super cool. Yeah, yeah like this crane, it, this is, I love, I love a good crane in Minecraft. Yeah. You know, sometimes you see cranes, you're like, well, that wouldn't work, you know, and like, I know uh -huh. it's not going to work, but because there's no wheel or no lever or no pulley system, like, that's how cranes work, you know, like, uh -huh. you just see, sometimes people just build a diagonal and call it a day, well, that's not, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's awesomely done. Wow, man. It's... You know what's interesting, when I try to build anything on the diagonal, like, look at the front of this ship over here, like... This works completely. Like the front of it works totally. But if I were building it, I would be like, that doesn't work because it's only <laughs> held together uh -huh. by like that little tiny, like one pixel, you know? Yeah. But seeing, I it, would, I would think the same thing, but seeing it, you know, seeing it here in the finished product project or product, it, it works completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's good to know. I, it's good to remember that this is possible to build that kind of way, you know? We should, we'll just yeah, make, this one's, we'll make prize build us a diagonal ship. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one looks really cool too. It does. It looks even less connected than this one for some reason, but it, it works. Yeah, it totally works. Yeah. This is where you kind of wish you had like carpenter's blocks or something that you could do like the, yeah. like the connected wedge type of shape, but then maybe that would kind of ruin it, you know? Yeah. Then the textures might look all stretched out and stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. I actually, I really like this too. I like how how this is like. There's like a, like a stone dock retaining wall type of thing. Uh huh. You know, this is interesting in 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 Port Bray, and I know you started working on a dock in your series too. Um, I just did cobble basically the whole way down, but it's interesting how they use different stone here where the water washes up. Oh yeah. That that's a nice. That's a nice feature. I, I'm not sure exactly how to pull that off without conquest, but I, I think something like that though could be really. It really adds yeah. an extra adds an extra thing, and there, it's not random. There's no random. It's it's. Yeah, it's all one. Yeah, but I, one block. I mean, it works. It works great. Oh, this is cool. Oh wow, that bridge up there looks really cool. Oh my goodness! Wow. It's just like a building. It's just like one building that stretches. Uh -huh. That's so good. Ah, oh, this makes me crazy. It's so good. It makes me <laughs> it makes me equally equal parts. 50% inspired and 50% where I just want to uninstall Minecraft, you know, just be like <laughs> nope. Just makes me mad. Yeah, it makes me angry that I don't have the sort of <laughs> creative bone to do that, you know. 
That's super good, man. It just it feels it feels so good to just walk along it. I mean, this feels like we're there. You know? Yeah. It just feels like Ah, that's awesome. I love the different uh all the different blocks they use in the terrain too. Mm-hmm. I wish we had more like stone types and stuff to add to uh mountains. Yeah. Well, I mean we could. <laughs> that, yeah. We we could, <laughs> thanks to your uh your your expertise on uh getting us on uh, different blocks of the glazed terracotta. Uh huh. Since I don't mind getting rid of I, I don't I don't mind destroying all of the glazed terracotta. I hate them all. So yeah. use them all for like building blocks purposes. We do have options. That we could mm -hmm. add, you know, we could we could appropriate some of these conquest textures. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is this is cool. I even like 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 this little area here, I, like right under where you were standing. It, 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 like, it's a small oh, wow. thing. Again, my my instinct would probably be to just close this in, maybe put some windows and stuff like that. But to leave it open and put some seating and stuff like that, that's that's a super nice touch. Yeah, it is. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. This is awesome. I'm using shaders right now too. Oh nice. So it's really, really nice. You know that petrified oak slab that we have in the game that doesn't have a use? Mm -hmm. What about making it cushions like this? I made it a uh, a slab for one of my roof blocks. I saw that, like the red the red tile, right? Mm -hmm. I'm still hopeful that we're gonna get those slabs down the road. Oh yeah, that's true. With I think we'll get concrete slabs, so we could maybe do something like that just for ornament. Now it'd only be one. Well, we could do variations, but it'd only be one color. But then you could use that and a door to make actual looking chairs, because that's, that's yeah, that would be cool. really cool. It wouldn't have the you wouldn't have the um uh I don't like the transparent part on the bottom, but still that that yeah. probably be fine. Yeah, that's it. We should talk about that. Mm -hmm. oh, this is so cool. I love all these little models they have too, like the. Oh, that's weird. Oh yeah, the little uh, plates and yeah, stuff like that. That's stuff. That's 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 really nice. That really helps with the immersion, you know. But and and the way the way that it's done too, it doesn't break it out of the game. Like it doesn't feel like it's not still uh -huh. like a pixel art sort of thing. It's 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 like the right resolution and everything. Yeah. You know what's funny is I I at one point uh, changed all my glass uh, in the texture pack for a conquest version of glass and I hated this one because it only <laughs> had the line going across the top, so mm -hmm. I got rid of it. But now I'm looking, I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It turns out it wasn't the glass's texture fault. It was my fault for not <laughs> not using it right. <laughs> that's really nice. And I wish we had poles and stuff. Like, well, who knows? Maybe we, one day we'll get some, we'll get some walls. Mm -hmm. If they just give us walls, then we could do like the top little nubbin for connected textures and stuff. You know, they just need, we just need more walls. Yeah, I really hope they add some more walls in the next update too. Because I looked at the tweet that everyone sent out mm -hmm. recently again. It said stairs, slabs, etc. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. that's good. I've only heard stairs uh -huh. and slabs, so that that etc. Hopefully, that is uh what we're what we're hoping. Because yeah, you're right. We yeah. need wall. If we got walls, think about if we got like bark walls. Yeah, you know? that would be amazing. Man, custom trees all over the place, all that fences, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, this is cool too. Oh wow, this is just a little, little chimney up here. I didn't even notice it. We found um, we were going, we were in Bree, and we found in the back of Bree there, there looks like there's hobbit holes. I think that I, they seemingly are hobbit holes anyway. And we found a chimney mm -hmm. up on top of a hill, and we're like, that's weird. There's a chimney there. We went through. It literally connects. There's a hobbit wow. hole that stretches so far in, and they actually worked. They figure out where it is, and they put the chimney in the right place. It's really like wow. it's not that's just awesome. for show. It's actual like you know functional quote as much as it would function. It's in the right Ooh. place anyway. It's a little bird's nest over here. <laughs> Oh, that's so weird. I've seen that texture in the texture pack, but I haven't seen it in actual, like, life. That's, that's an awesome that's detail, too. Here's another open place just under that bird's nest. nest. Oh, yeah. Like, a, like, just an open shop. This is the kind of building I think we should do in the pi in the upcoming Pirate Bay. Like, a lot of open buildings kind of like this, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Because it'd be like, it's in a jungle. It's going to be like a warm climate and stuff like that. I think that's going to feel, yeah. that would make it feel really different than uh, every other place too. Just keep a lot of these like, just open little walkways and oh, even this. What is this? What is this? It's like part of a house, but it's just a walkway. Yeah, I think it's just a... Oh, there's a second floor. Wait, here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there... Yeah, there's a second floor over the walk oh, yeah, over I the see. open air Oops. walkway. Hmm. I don't know how to get there, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, here's a doorway. And you know what else too, which is amazing, is there's all like every interior is finished. Like in this whole oh, world. Really? That's awesome. I look, I, I gotta admit something here. If we were playing creative, I would probably finish all my interiors. <laughs> uh-huh. What I'm really hoping is at some point someone who loves loves the channel and loves Vasta and all that stuff is going to be like, hey, man, I love doing interiors. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, welcome to, the <laughs> welcome to the realm. Here's about 700 houses that you can <laughs> go ahead and finish. <laughs> it's just interiors and survival. Are, they, I, like the, I like doing the work of designing them. I hate gathering all the materials. It's just mm -hmm. you know, I'd rather spend time mining at a quarry or an oak farm or something like that rather than, than, than uh, you know make bookcases and uh yeah because there's just so much stuff you can add to an interior paintings right book, bookcases yeah and like it all takes different just, materials to do yeah um where are we at for time we might be getting close up against it i went super long last episode <laughs> okay. um let's do like five more minutes all right oh what is this another oh, wow. one of these amazing pass paths you know us too i find that they almost rarely use stairs they almost always use half slabs yeah i've noticed that which is really great that's what i use too because of horses in this game and you know horses don't deal with stairs very well mm -hmm. but i wonder why i wonder what they're thinking is since this is creative maybe just makes it take up more space more gradual filling yeah i think it's to make it seem not so harsh of inclines mm, yeah you know what's it here come back here this is like in middle of a city right in the middle of a big big freaking city this is a farm uh -huh. there's a farm yeah this is really cool in a hundred years of building minecraft i would not have come up with that you know i would not have thought like yeah. oh let's just put a farm here because it's in a city but of course there'd be a farm if there's empty space someone would plant plant something there you know there's a lot of uh -huh. mouths to feed Elves, I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't think... Okay, I'm going to get into the little little bit of lore that I know. I, I think in Tolkien's world, elves are not necessarily uh, herbivores. I think they actually do eat meat. Some do. Maybe some don't. So it would make sense to have, in an elven sort of kingdom, have a lot of vegetables growing. Uh-huh. And No Conquest adds a lot of different vegetables, too. But, but you know, oh, plant, wow. flowers and stuff can... How are you in the ground? Oh, I just shifted. <laughs> oh, you went into the ground. That's weird. I just noticed these are three D models, the yeah. one of these potatoes. Yeah, I, I I've noticed that in in my uh, Conquest Survival series too. They're really nice models. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason why we couldn't do that. I wonder if you had a huge field of them, if that would be a little lag, laggy. Uh huh. It'd be a lot of a lot of faces. I know that I read um, about if you use chisel and bits to create models to try to keep the block faces sort of to a minimum, um, mm -hmm. because it can get it, uh, it doesn't I, somehow the Minecraft general engine doesn't play well with it. But I guess we're using Forge probably here. Yeah, we are. I think uh, I think that helps. Are these just chairs in storage? Because that's yeah. freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I just, that, that's really cool. I would have never, ever thought to do that. You know, but here's, here's. I mean, if we did something like this, here we could do that. If we if we had that petrified oak slab as like a, a, a cushiony type of thing, that's just, uh -huh. I mean, cushion, a uh, like a fence, maybe something like that, and, and a, a trap door. That's doable. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. So, so, you know, again, just to have it finished up here in the attic, it's just furniture storage. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, this is a really cool little fireplace. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really like that it's not usable. Oh, I really uh -huh. love that. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, 
It's weird. I think the cobwebs are like in the gla the glass pane model instead of the vanilla cobweb. Mo yeah, it's a cobweb pane. Oh yeah. That's really cool. Hmm. Oh, it keeps going up. Oh, it looks like oh th maybe this is abandoned. It's like there's oh, a oh really okay like if you go up up to the next level. No, it looks like there's still some maybe some people living here, but maybe it's it's uh seen better times or something. This is super thought out, man. Yeah, this is really cool. It's hard. Oh. To, <laughs> it's hard to get through a trap door because they close. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just end the episode right. <laughs> I, I'm stuck. Um. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, guys. Anyway, um, I I got out thanks to some some teleporting magic. Uh, anyway, I I that's a, we're pretty much up against it. I don't know. You know, I almost want to say let's do another episode from here like next time because I I feel like we saw like one percent of this city. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you know, yeah, there's still stuff that oh we haven't seen yet. I, I'm looking right now. Like if I look any direction, there's stuff I I want to go see that I had that that we're out of time, but. Um, so maybe we'll pick up uh, like another part of this um, here at another time. But this is it's amazing. Uh, I want to thank uh, the the folks at Artograph for just being so cool and allowing people like us to just come on and just freely check out the world because it's amazing. Yeah, this is an amazing world. So, um, yeah, uh, join me on Discord. You can join Germ. He has a Discord, too. Um, and uh, check out all the channels I told you about because it's 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 very cool to um, show these guys some love. Uh, Duke on Red does some videos from here. You can check him out as well. And uh, we'll see you next time from Build Stay. See you.